Hi, in this tutorial we are going to practice how to draw resonance structures for uh, four cases. You know, uh, the general way how we can write resonance structures, uh, there is a formula in your textbook, it says that if you have a, a molecule having three atoms, X, Y, and Z, and if there is a double bond between X and Y, and if there is an asterisk or star on Z, this asterisk or star can be, uh, in the first case, it can be a lone pair, it can be just a positive charge with an empty 2p orbitals, or it can be an unpaired electron, which is a radical, and uh, for the last case, uh, we don't use this formula but uh, we are going to practice the last case also. This is also one of the common uh, situations that you need to write a resonance form. So, how we write a resonance structure for XYZ molecule, XY having a double bond, a pi bond, YZ a single bond, Z has either a lone pair, a positive charge, or a, a radical, or an unpaired electron. The resonance form of this molecule is X, Y should be single bond, Y, Z should be double bond, and the asterisk or star should be on X. Basically, if there is a lone pair here, you have to move it here on, on X. If there is an unpaired electron on Z, it has to move on X. Or if there is a positive charge on Z, or empty 2p orbital, X should have in the resonance form uh, empty 2p orbital. Let's uh, start writing resonance structure for uh, each molecule. Again, don't change any sigma bond. Sigma bond connections should be the same. Carbon, carbon, carbon. We have here hydrogen, 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 and two hydrogens on that carbon. And according to our general XYZ formula, this double bond should move here. This has to be double bond. This has to be single bond. And the lone pair should move here. And if you calculate formal charge of this carbon, it has to be negative. Okay, so uh, the next question uh, for this type of uh, uh, practices, write resonance uh, structure with uh, uh, arrows. You have to show how you form a pi bond or how you form uh, uh, how you break a double bond. Uh, we have to show electron flow with uh, arrows. Okay, so uh, in order to uh, draw arrows, uh, I'm going to use a different color for arrows. I will use a red marker. So uh, if you look at here, uh, this is a double bond, this is a single bond, there is a lone pair here. We need to introduce here a double bond. How can we introduce here a double bond, a pi bonding? Basically, we have to use this lone pair electrons and we have to move with uh, to, to here. So this is now a pi bond. And uh, this pi bond has to be broken and uh, there should be a lone pair on this carbon. So we need to use this pi bond electrons to make lone pair. Okay, that's the first case. In the second case, uh, we have a positive charge on this carbon. Again, let's write uh, the connections. Carbon, carbon, carbon should be same. Hydrogens, we have to write them back. And uh, for, for, from general formula, uh, this double bond shouldn't be here anymore. It has to be a single bond. And this single bond should be a double bond. We are introducing here a double bond. And uh, according to general formula, positive charge should be on this carbon. How are we going to show electron flow with curved arrows? Uh, basically, uh, we don't have a we don't have lone pairs here. So pi electrons has to switch from this bond to this place. So this is how we show uh, moving of uh, pi electrons to draw the second resonance form of this molecule. In the third case, again, let's uh, write the resonance form according to 
our general formula again x y z x y double so it has to be single y z single it has to be double and the radical should be the unpaired electron should be on this curve so let's write here again the backbone shouldn't be changing all sigma bonds has to be same only pi electrons and lone pairs uh, can switch okay according to general formula this has to be double and this has to be uh, an unpaired electron how are we going to show electron flow with a uh, curved arrow uh, don't forget when you have radicals we cannot use uh, full headed arrows we have to use uh, single headed arrows or we call fish hook so uh, basically we have to introduce here a pi bond in order to introduce the pi bond there we have to use this radical an unpaired and just one headed arrow and from pi bond I have to use one electron and here we place two electrons as pi bonds and what about the lone uh, unpaired electron here we can use the second electron on the pi bond and we can place it here so basically we have written a resonance structure for a radical having a neighboring pi bond okay the last case is this is a very famous molecule it is benzene or there are other aromatic molecules having alternating double single double single double bonds how we write resonance forms basically you have to alternate or switch double bonds with a single bonds so let's uh, let's show it here I'm going to move this one over here so I have more space we are drawing again structure of benzene instead of single here it will be a double bond single bond double bond single bond basically we pl we ex we switch the position of uh, pi bonds or double bonds how are we going to move uh, from this this structure to that structures that structure with curved arrows I'm going to use again red marker so basically we have to push pi bonds to next uh, place so all pi bonds has to alternate again by switching okay uh, we finished uh, in this practice four general cases that you you need to write resonance structures thanks so much